Hey everybody, welcome back. So we've got a Monogram Dodge Ram VTS pickup. I got this at Ollie's. And real quick, before the video starts, my friend Mark Batson over at HobbyDude007 just made a, or um, Miss Amanda per picked up a kit for him from Ollie's. And he brought it home and there was this like, there was a mystery going on. It's like, he, he realized that this sticker was under the plastic. So the plastic wrap, the kit was wrapped brand new, but there was an Ollie sticker. Um, I've seen this uh, this last year when Ollie's had these kits, these monogram kits. They, they definitely got the kits without plastic wrap. I guess from monogram directly, however they did it. Maybe they got a good deal on them because they weren't wrapped. I don't know. But yeah, they're definitely uh, they're definitely um, under that. And I've noticed that the uh, scalpers, or the <laughs> I don't know what you call them, but the people that go and buy all the kits up from Ollie's and then take them to a swap meet and sell them, I did notice one. I won't I won't mention the show that I was at, but anyway, there was one. Uh, he had these white stickers because they were still wrapped in plastic, and it just kills them because they can't take the uh, the price tag off. So he had a white square of paper over over that. But anyway, yeah, these kits are brand new. I think Ollie's got some kind of special deal from Monogram. Um, and then they shrink wrapped them. So they are brand new kits. But anyway. All right, so yeah, Dodge Ram VTS pickup. These things are cool. These had the V10 in them, uh, the Viper V10. A lot of them had, a, I believe, a six-speed manual transmission. And uh, I think all these trucks did. The, the uh, extended cabs... Or the four doors, I think they had automatics. But what's really cool about this kit is I'm not building it. So, and Ruthie's not building it. And Miss Heather's not building it. But, uh, guess guess who's building it? Alright. It's Joseph. He's out here. He said, Daddy, I want to, do you got something you don't want to build? And I said, well, so, uh. It's not that I didn't want to build this kit. This is an awesome kit. I got this to build, but that's fine. So I said, well, let's look around. And I said, um, I said, some of these kits are, he's built a couple. So he built an AMT and he built a Ravel kit. But I said, let's look. There is a uh, bunch of AMT kits on the shelf, bunch of NPCs, bunch of old tooling stuff. And those things can be difficult for not a first time modeler, but a beginner. So I said, let's, let me, I said, oh, I got this this Dodge truck. How about that? He's like, yeah, that'll work. So anyway, he is. Let's see if this fits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Look, it looks pretty close. I don't know if this dang thing's blurry. There we go. Yeah, so hey, Joseph. Hey, what's up? All right, so anyway, what everybody's going to want to know is what color are you going to paint it? What you thinking? Probably going to go with the same color that's on the box. You, are you going? Do you want to use the decals, or you want to use straight paint job uh, decals? Because I got some decal solution that makes the decals look like they're paint. Yeah. And we can clear over them too. Yeah, I might go with the decals. I think if I didn't have them, it just look a little blah. A little. Yeah, I think so too. They are nice, but sometimes decals can can be a challenge. But we'll work through it. So I'm gonna help him through this thing when he needs help. But he's doing like I do and disassembling everything off the trees. I know that kills some of you guys. <laughs> But anyway, that's how that's how the uh, model car video studio rolls. Anyway, yeah. So he's getting started on this thing, and um, this ought to be cool. Dodge uh, Ram VTS pickup. I had a friend of mine that's got that had one of these, and uh, he left church one day and ripped out on that thing. And man, it sounds so weird because it doesn't have that V8 sound. But yeah, there we go. All right, uh, he'll get some more stuff cleaned up glued together and be right back all right so he's got his all of his body parts body the body the hood the everything that needs to be painted blue the bumper all that stuff is uh ready to be primered so he's gonna get his first try at the airbrush uh primer in it what you think about it all i can say is wish me luck <laughs> wish you luck <laughs> that ain't gonna help a bit <laughs> all right so yeah he's gonna shoot some primer the other stuff like chassis and all that's got to be black and he's just gonna continue to get parts together chassis got to be put together more before he paints it but anyway just 
feels like you got some progress enough. You put some paint on it, so we we'll get some primer on here. Be right back. thing Joseph's got in common with me is his neatness of his work area <laughs> all right so he's got the body that's ready to paint all the body parts so um, we're going to spray it to me a lacquer mica blue it's pretty good color already got got it mixed right here so that's gonna look good so he's <clears throat> he's going to get to experience painting something with an airbrush for the first time except he's already done a little bit it's primer but that is nothing like real paint so I told him he's got to be careful with the, uh, what did I say? Got to be careful with the, uh, getting it thick on the truck because one spot will have sparkles and the other spot lighter sparkles. M metallic. I, 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 I didn't call it metallic. I just told him it had metal in it, so he calls it sparkles. That's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get it painted. I'll set the camera up. He'll start spraying it. So he got it painted and it ain't too bad for a first time airbrush job not that he didn't have a really good uh real good teacher showed him how to do it but uh yeah it looks pretty good and metallic paint's kind of hard to keep even but didn't really have another i wanted to do tamiya paint so the reason we did tamiya you guys are probably saying why didn't you why didn't you uh use mcw it's because tamiya paint's a little more forgiving it's uh Enamel paint, in my personal opinion, is a little harder to spray, so I didn't want to put that on him. And uh, so anyway, yeah, this to me a paint doesn't have the greatest of shine, so but we we got something to take care of that. Once he gets his decals on it, we can clear coat it, so that'll look good. But anyway, it did turn out. And one thing to mention, it took every single drop of paint. I mean, like there was zero to spare. I was actually starting to sweat it. We used the whole entire bottle cut at 50 percent but yeah looks pretty good and that is mica blue and uh looks i think it looks good what you think about it yeah i see a couple spots i didn't hit as hard being that it dried but i gotta give myself a little credit being that it was my first time yeah so it's hard so like with joseph it's it's to get that rhythm with the airbrush and both hands working together in in harmony or flow it i've noticed with heather and ruthie too it's it's you have to work that He's very coordinated because he plays guitar and banjo and, and all kind of stuff, but um, it's different. Coordination is not the same. I can't play a darn guitar, but I can spray a model car pretty good. What, what about that? What about yeah, that? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we're going to end this video here. But what I want you guys to know, let me see if I can't do this. Flip this around. We'll talk both, both of us talk. Let's see. Well, there I am. I was wondering where I was at the whole time. But anyway, so me me and him will be at... Oh, where's my phone? It's my pocket. Let me read it real fast. I forget the name of the show. So this week, this weekend, Clemens... Oh, well, there went my phone. 
Here, hold this one. All right. It's still recording, Joseph. Hey, guys. All right, so me and him is going to be at the... I'll tell you what. I'll flash it up on the screen. But it's the K CKM 16th Annual Summer Classic in Clemens, North Carolina. 8, 12, 23 is the date. So this Saturday, the 12th. Um, we'll both be there his first show. It's just gonna be me and him. We're gonna drive six hours To go see some of you guys. Hopefully you'll be there get to meet Joseph for the first time He won't have his truck with him, but that's okay He may see something there. He wants to build there's because they got swap meet there mm -hmm. Be tons of model kits for cheap yeah. a lot of times anyway, so you might see something anyway We're gonna be there. So hope to see you guys there and uh, Tell him how good he did or bad he did <laughs> He's my son, so you can tell him how bad he did. It's not my girl. You don't pick on my girl, so you can, you can be more critical of Joseph. I'm just joking. So, yeah, he'll be there. I'll be there. We'll have fun, but this is all about his Dodge truck, and uh, I think it's going to look nice. So, yeah, you guys encourage him. Tell him what you think about it, and uh, I guess with that said, we'll uh, end this video. Don't forget, as always, not you, Joseph. To go check out hobbynutmodels.com. It's always in the description of the video. Thanks to Mark for supporting my channel. And uh, this paint came from over there. So grab yourself some Tamiya lacquers or spray cans or MCW paints or any of those great products that I use. They're always over there at uh, hobbynutmodels.com. So go check that out. And uh, to my Patreon members, guys, thank you so much for your support. Most importantly, though, you guys watching these videos and uh, bearing through my boring videos a lot of times. And uh, getting to see joseph paint his first uh airbrush job he's done a few but they were spray cans and uh these these turn out so much better but anyway guys thanks for watching and uh hey hopefully we'll see you 8 12 2023 clemens north carolina at the summer classic model car show all right guys take care and uh you'll see him later all right bye.